This video will step you through the out-of-box experience when setting up a brand new Neatbar Pro and Neatpad. We'll register the Neatbar Pro to a Zoom room and we'll also enroll in Neat Pulse during the out-of-box experience. Neat Pulse is Neat's new cloud-based management and monitoring platform. So on the screen, you can see the Neat Pad on the left and the front of room display as connected to the Neatbar Pro on the right. All the setup is done from the Neatpad, so let's get started. We've got English there selected as our language. Tap on the Continue button on the Neatpad, and you'll see four options asking you what you want to set up. So you can set up a brand new Neatbar, Neatbar Pro, a Neatpad for room availability. That would be a scheduling panel on the outside of your meeting room for Zoom rooms or Microsoft Teams rooms. And you could also add an additional Neatpad for meeting control. But today we're going to select Set up a Neatbar Pro and tap Continue. These are NEAT's animated uh, mounting guides. So you can say if you want to mount it on the wall or on the screen or go below the screen. Uh, very handy guides. They're fully animated. I'm, you can start the guide there if you need some help with installation, but I'm going to skip that for this video. And we can see the NEAT pad is telling us it's connected to the internet and the NEAT bar pro is over here also saying connected to the internet. Both of my devices are using a wired connection. They are wired back to a network switch. They can also be set up, all neat devices can be set up with Wi-Fi. Let's tap on continue. Once you've got a successful internet connection, let's uh, configure our time zone. Tap continue. Verify the time is correct and you can turn on 24 hour time if you wish. Tap on continue at the top on the neat pad. And here you'll see the serial number of the Neatbar Pro that we want to uh, set up. On the front of room display, you can see the serial number of the Neatbar Pro, and that matches what the Neatpad has found via network discovery. If you were configuring multiple rooms or commissioning multiple rooms at the same time, you would see a list of serial numbers on the Neatpad. So select the one that corresponds to the room you want to set up or the device and tap on continue on the Neatpad. So the Neatpad has now paired with the Neatbar Pro over the network. Uh, we can tap on continue. And here is where we set up Neat Pulse. To enroll our devices into Neat Pulse, we just need to bring up a browser that is already signed into my Neat Pulse tenant. Click on here where it says add a device and we can call this room whatever we want. That can be changed later. It's all very configurable and easy to set up in Neat Pulse. Click Continue. And we can assign a device profile so that as soon as the Neat devices come online, they will grab all the predefined settings that have been configured by your Neat Pulse administrator. We can also configure a location while we're here. And now we have the code that we need to enter here onto the Neatpad. So while the Neat Pad and Neat Bar Pro are enrolling themselves into Neat Pulse, we can close that window there. And very quickly, we'll see the devices come online within the Neat Pulse portal. We can see the Neat Bar Pro coming online now. And the Neat Pad will sh follow shortly. It takes about one to two minutes for both devices to enroll. And there they are now. They're, they're finished enrolling into Neat Pulse. And you'll notice on the Neat Pad, it has now changed over to dark mode in the system settings. That's because it's picked up the settings that have been defined by that device profile that I applied during the enrollment process. So that's now fully enrolled into Neat Pulse. We can get rid of that browser window and continue on with the out of box experience setup. So back here on the uh, the neat pad, tap on continue. We can continue on there. You can toggle that switch on or off. And today we're going to configure our neat bar pro as a zoom room. So tap on zoom and then tap continue on the neat pad. Okay. And we get the notification on there 
on the Neatbar Pro saying Zoom Rooms is installed. So back here on the Neatpad, we can tap on Launch Zoom Rooms. And what you saw happen there was the Zoom application, the Zoom Room Controller application on the Neatpad automatically paired to the Zoom application on the Neatbar Pro. So let's tap on sign in so we can sign into our Zoom Room as the last step. And I find the easiest way is to, again, use a browser and navigate to this URL here, zoom.us forward slash pair. And it's on the Neatpad, we're uh, directed to that same URL. So we'll put the code in here in the browser. Click continue. And here's where you get to select which Zoom room you want to sign into. I'm going to sign into the Auckland room. Click done. You get a message there saying it's successful. We can get rid of the browser. And we'll see the neat pad prompt to make sure it's definitely me trying to sign in. Yes, it's me. And that's the final step. The neat pad and the neat bar pro will sign into the Zoom room.